Roughly 600 miles separate two fighter squadrons with a rich but very different history. Here at Bogham Airfield, they have one thing in common, the helmet mounted integrated targeting system, otherwise known as a HIMIT. The 100th Fighter Squadron out of Montgomery, Alabama and the 303rd Fighter Squadron out of Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri have deployed to Bagram Airfield to provide armed overwatch and close air support for ground units. The squadron trained with the HIMIT system prior to deployment, which provides the units with a capability they previously didn't have. In essence, it's a modification that fits onto our flight helmets that we fly with and is, it enables us to look with our right eye and there's a little symbol over it and with that symbol we can put it on a point on the ground and we can slew our targeting pod and all of our sensors to that point on the ground. It gives us instantaneous uh, situational awareness on what's going on in the battle space, enables us to quickly get our eyes on friendly positions, uh, targets on the ground that we need to hit and in general it just paints a big picture of the entire battle space right there over our right eye that we can see at all times through all facets of flight. Uh, it's a little bit new for us because now it's something that as life support, survival equipment uh, work that we usually do, we're getting a little bit more involved with the actual weapon system of the aircraft, so that's pretty neat. We're basically in charge of pre-flighting and post-flighting the equipment for the pilots uh, before and after their flights, make sure everything's in proper working order. We go through a visual and functional check of all the equipment, make sure there's no, no problems with it as far as anything broken or screws loose or any kind of rusting to make sure it's working properly and get it back up and running. Uh, we've been flying with the, uh, the Hemet uh, for around six months now. Uh, so as with any new piece of equipment that you have, there's obviously a learning curve, but uh, the more you use it, the more comfortable you become with it, uh, the better you are. Flying fighters uh, in the Air Force and the Air National Guard is a, it's a tremendous privilege. It's very, very exciting, but uh, there's a lot of preparation, a lot of work uh, that goes along uh, to be able to qualify to do the mission. Uh, so we're constantly preparing, constantly studying, and uh, staying up on uh, latest procedures uh, to make sure we can effectively execute the mission uh, for the guys on the ground.